Hey guys, Matteo here. Welcome back to this Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K full frame video hands on. So I've been testing this camera for a couple of days now. Uh, I absolutely love it, but I also wanted to do an, a proper hands on video. So today we're gonna go around Lisbon. We're gonna shoot some clips. Again, the main features here, Leica L mount, full frame, three by two, 6k sensor you can shoot open gate up to 36 frames per second you can shoot 6k dci in 48 frames per second and you can shoot 6k 241 at 60 frames per second it also takes cf express and it has an olpf inside so now we're just going to start rolling and capture some shot on the new blackmagic cinema camera 6k full frame so one of the first problem you might have with this camera is there's so much light coming into the sensor now i'm at iso 400 six stop nd and if i want to get a correct exposure i have to stay at f 5.6 even eight so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna try to put the 10 stop nd on it and see what it looks like because uh, it's really super bright now we can shoot wide open on a full frame camera <laughs> Shooting a medium shot. This guy is a camera test. It's not. There's no story. This is just guys to show you what the camera can do in this tricky lighting situation. Scriver, pretend to write. No autofocus. No image stabilization. You see how I'm operating the camera. This is a pretty good weight. So I don't feel I'm gonna ever need a cage unless I want to rig it up for a full production. It looks pretty good, pretty good weight. I'm able to balance. There's some micro shake maybe here and there, but then we're gonna stabilize it in post if needed. Now, this camera can't shoot 50p in open gate 6K, but it can shoot 36p. So now we're gonna do a little walking test. Then it's gonna be slowed down, of course, in post to 24, which is our uh, project frame rate. It's not really about the full frame, it's about the three by two and the fact that I can get so much real estate now on the frame. I can get the top and the bottom of the frame compared to any 16 by nine aspect ratio and I love this. So we're gonna do a close up now on her face just with this beautiful background. Let's see what it looks like. Beautiful vodka. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at all the depth. Wow. Now, very quickly about how it feels. Uh, of course, it's very similar to a Pocket 6K Pro. I think it's a little bit taller. I absolutely love the body of this camera. Now, there's gonna be uh, argument and debating about the box style camera and all this kind of stuff. The reason why the Pocket, originally called Pocket, it is what it is, is because it allows you to take it out of your backpack, put a battery in, and go out and film. With a beautiful five inches monitor in the back, bright enough and good enough to be able to judge exposure, colors, and all this kind of stuff. Now, this is something you cannot do with a modular cube body. Now, can you rig this up uh, as a full production camera? Yes, that's what I did with my old Pocket 6K. There's no problem at all. And also, guys, I'm rocking the internal battery, NPF. These guys, I can go for about an hour and a half, one hour and 15 minutes with one of these which is great, so I have 11 of those, so we're fine. And also rocking the ProGrade 512 gigabyte card. This cost me 200 euros and I can shoot pretty much any format really. I think I also wanna try the 4K mode S35 crop, 
4 by 3 it's gonna be interesting to see. I'm gonna shoot uh, 50p on that resolution and uh, we see what it's gonna look like. Wow. Saw this amazing light hitting Praça do Comércio from here. Here we're pretty much all in the shade. Right there, there's a lot of sun hitting, a lot of white walls, white building, and still I'm not clipping anything. I have all the information I want in the shadow, so pretty crazy dynamic range on this camera as well. a little walking down tracking shot but check my full color so as you can see guys we have uh, our first color here we have information in the shadows we have information in the highlights so and this is like a super tricky shot guys this is like totally against the sun totally backlit no problem it's just perfect exposure on the face so we're good wrap up the first part of the day the morning now the light is gonna be a little bit too much so we just gonna head back home uh, check the footage and then we're gonna get out again at sunset and we're gonna shoot some low light stuff first impression so far hands on with this camera uh, they're pretty positive it's of course gen 5 color science so very similar in colors like the pocket 6k pro or the 6k or whatever you're used to but yeah here you really have that full frame sensor that really does make your 35 mil looks like an actual 35 mil i'm always super happy with s35 sensors but the original like 6k the 6k pro the 6k g2 it was 1.56 which is a little bit too much for my taste i always said this and I always said it was a little bit of a problem when traveling with a especially 35 mil. Now that it's full frame, it's actually even better and it definitely helps in low light as well. But just a thought guy, if you wanna shoot wide open on a full frame, you're gonna have maybe some issues. Focus is gonna be a little bit harder uh, and you're gonna need a pretty heavy ND because there's so much light coming into this camera. But so far so good guys, uh, pretty happy having the tiltable monitor, five inches, beautiful bright monitor, which by the way, I'm using it at 50% brightness just to show you how bright it is. And I didn't have any issue even under the sun or against the sun or like with flares and stuff like that. I shot pretty much everything open gate 6K. And uh, I mean, you're gonna see the footage guys.